another video of CSS animation and in this video we are gonna animate a girl moving her hand and a planet rotating half motion so you will be learning more about animation with this video so let's begin uh, let's uh, first open our figma and learn how to give gradient colors to your image especially svg images so i have this svg image and uh, let me select uh, one component suppose i selected this hand then uh, let me click on this fill button let me add this and uh, make it linear after making it linear we can uh, simply select this one and we can simply drag it to 100 percent and then select any other um, color suppose i want something in yellowish portion or want something in greenish portion this is how you can give uh, your image a gradient color now let us uh, uh, start and i have already grouped all the components of this image that i want to uh, animate and the extra stuff also i have uh, grouped so that it don't uh, seem clumsy or we don't get lost when we are in html so let's begin our coding and yeah i have opened my visual studio code we have two files one is index.html and the other one is style.html so first of all let us create our index.html um okay so let us give this a uh, title of svg anime and then we can have a div with class img image or we can give this s image and then we can simply paste this code which uh, we if you open uh, svg image in visual studio code or any other code editor you can easily get this code so let me select the whole code and paste it over here under the div so i have pasted my svg image code over here and uh, right now you can see that it has a rectangle of white color so let us give this a uh, shade of black wow uh, or let us give this a uh, pf 3d 5630 uh, or 5 okay yeah let us give this color to our rectangle so now let us see how our image is looking like. Open with live server. <laughs> cool. So we are ready with our SVG image. Now let us give some styling to our HTML file using CSS. So remove this padding and margin and then select body and give this a uh, background color of 3 f 3 d 5 6 and then select this div and let us give this some position so i have selected this div and yeah we can give some position so i will be giving this a uh, position of absolute absolute and then we can give this some top space like 20 percent and some left space like 15 percent so let us see our image first okay uh, first of all let us link our css file with our html file so it's a uh, style.css yeah cool uh, let us give this 25 percent hmm. 
cool so now let's begin our coding for uh, animating our components first of all let us uh, select that hand and let's animate it let us select this group first this hand group okay so i have selected this hand group using this id and now i will be implementing my animation to both of these content so how we can do that first of all we will be needing a keyframe so i will be creating a keyframe of hand motion and then here i can give uh, like uh, from 0% to 50% to 100% cool now after giving this uh, let's give this a uh, transform of uh, suppose Q that we used in our previous one uh, skew or let us give this um, yeah let us give this skew only uh, skew x uh, suppose minus 4 degree and let us copy this to our other files mm -hmm. yeah uh, and let us make this zero degree hmm. so now to give any we have created our animation now we have to give this animation to our hand component so for that i will be using animation we will be giving this a uh, name like uh, hand motion and for two seconds it should be for infinite time and it should be linear because we don't want any delay or we don't want that uh, our hand motion should be fast at beginning and then it should be slowly uh, decrease its speed in the end of the animation we want constant animation that's why we are using linear we want our animation to continuously happen that's why we are using infinite and we want it a speed of two seconds so we are using two seconds and we have created an animation with name hand motion and so we have written hand motion in our animation now let's see how it looks so right now you can see that it is not waving it's it's just like uh, uh, going forward and backward forward and backward motion so how we can give this a wave effect first of all let us give this a transform origin of bottom why bottom because we want our hand to be stuck with our body when we wave our hand we don't uh, put our hand and uh, keep it uh, means it doesn't detach from our body it constantly is stuck with our body so first of all we will be giving transform or origin bottom and now we can see okay now it is not uh, it is waving means it is also forward and backward motion and it is completely detached with our body so how we can uh, give or uh, we can just say that only animate my hand okay we don't want uh, my hand to be uh, like uh, animated like a robot we want it a uh, still motion so for that i will be using transform box should be fill box fill box so now you can see that it's a kind of weaving motion it is despite very less um, in motion because we have just given four degrees of motion so we can change our existence according to our uh, will but uh, right now you can see that it is very smooth in motion and our flexibility of hand is very nice coming out so we are done with our hand motion and now let's uh, animate our planet so first of all create a another keyframe of uh, rotation and 
and here you can have like 0 percent then 50 percent then 100 percent and then you can have over here transform let us uh, use rotate the z axis so i have given this and let us give this a 15 degree or minus 15 degree now we can copy this paste it all over here and make it plus 15 degree so uh, we have made our planet animation now let's implement this on our planet so now we will be selecting our planet uh, where it is hmm. using this id so that it give animation to the content which is included in this group tag so i have used this id for animating all the elements in this group now let us give this a uh, animation of rotation and then let's give this also for two second infinite linear transform origin or oh, let us see that how right now our uh, planet is rotating or performing the animation okay so you can see that it is not a fixed position it is not fixed basically and uh, it is uh, rotating upper and down wise it is going up and then downside up and then downside so to have a fixed motion let us give this a uh, transform origin of center because we want a rotation a complete rotation we don't want our uh, planet to be stuck from bottom we want our planet to stuck from center because we know when some something is uh, rotating it if it is performing a circular motion and if it is rotating then all the force is uh, towards the center so let us give this uh, transform origin to center and yeah now also uh, our uh, planet is rotating fine but uh, it is not uh, rotating the way we want it like uh, uh, still the planet is not stuck still the planet is having a curvature so to give uh, to make it stuff let us use transform box and let us give this um, suppose fill box wow so now we are having the rotation of our planet the way we want like uh, it is in a fixed position and it is just rotating half the way you can uh, change the speed and you can change uh, uh, everything of uh, animation according to you like we can give this 1.5 seconds and we can give this also of 1.5 seconds hmm now it is much better than before wow so that's it for today guys if you like this video and if you get something new to learn from this video i would like you to stay tuned with us and we will